Chuck Custer, Kelly Lynch, News Talk WGY. We are joined by the Saratoga County clerk and the victor in that huge state Senate primary, Kathy Marchone. Kathy, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Congratulations. Thanks very much. The uh, it was a, it was a heck of a race. Did you have any doubts uh, that you would end up uh, winning this thing? Um. Well, yeah. <laughs> 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 you, you don't know what's gonna, you know. How well, you know, it's not. It's not a long. It's not often that incumbents are defeated here in New York State. Oh no, it hasn't been done in 20 years. So, you know, we knew starting, you know, getting into the race that, you know, it it was a, um, I don't want to say a long shot, but it certainly would be an upset um, if we were able to uh, to win this uh, win in the primary. And of course, the incumbent Roy McDonald had a ton of money by virtue of his vote uh, for same-sex marriage. Uh, what, what? Let me ask you first: what, what role do you think money played in in the campaign? Um, well, you know, it, I don't think that it played um, certainly in the outcome. We were able to to be victorious, but it's difficult to fight that kind of money. You know, when the attack ads hit on TV, we were being outspent ten to one on the airwaves. And um, certainly that had a, a real negative effect on our campaign. Now, I know it wasn't a one-issue campaign, but what role do you think the same-sex marriage vote played in, you know, in the race? Um, I, it certainly was an issue. Um, you know, and, and, and in our campaign, um, you know, we've said um, same-sex marriage was an issue, taxes are an issue, you know, uh, spending, spending was many votes. Uh, corruption was was part of uh, what we talked about. So for us, we ran a, a campaign on many issues. Let me ask you this: Do you think would you if 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 Roy McDonald had not voted for same sex marriage, do you think you would have challenged him? Would he have been vulnerable enough to to uh, you know uh, experience a challenge? Well, I, I I wouldn't know that because of course he did. So we we've just finished a, a race where he did. Uh, vote for same-sex marriage, and it did have an influence on the race. Um, so it, it's hard, of course, again, to go back and take a look. I think it made him more vulnerable. Uh, yes, I do. Um, I, I, I made a lot of phone calls, thousands of phone calls. I hit thousands of doors. And and many people wanted to talk about uh, that particular vote. And if, it, and, and if same-sex marriage was not an issue to them, there were the other issues surrounding how the vote occurred. You know, his arrogant manner and, you know, which he told people to take the job and shove it. Mm -hmm. um, many people found that, of course, offensive. Um, and, and that's, you know, that's the cleaned up version. Of, yes, of what yes, happened. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, the, and then, of course, he visited with Bloomberg first, and Bloomberg was the first to provide him with over $10,000, and then immediate fundraiser occurring, you know, um, and a half a million dollars coming into his account. Many people had concerns over that. So, you know, it just wasn't just the vote itself. Some people didn't care that he voted for same-sex marriage, but they cared deeply about the, the surrounding uh, uh, things that happened after. Well, I also think that part of it is the changing horses midstream. I mean, he went into the office with one stance and changed his opinion once he got there, and that's not what he was elected by people to do. And so I think if he had been elected in support of same-sex marriage, that would be one thing, but to change his mind once he got into the office and voted differently, then that's different. Uh, and, and that was the other part of it. You're absolutely right, Kelly. Yes. We're speaking with uh, Kathy Marchone, the Saratoga County clerk uh, from Half Moon, who has uh, declared victory over State Senator Roy McDonald. Do you have any concern if he stays on the Independence Party line, if that may split the party and, and give a leg up to the Democrats? You know, I've been asked that a lot, and in, 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 uh, we were victorious in the primary. I believe, you know, with the message that we've got, which is, you know, um, New York State spends too much and borrows too much and taxes too much and regulates too much, and there's way too much corruption – that message resonated, and uh, and we were victorious this time, and I believe in November we will be as well. And I think you could also make the case maybe that if, if Roy McDonald stays on the ballot that he could get some votes as opposed to splitting maybe the Republican vote. He could actually get some Democratic votes because of his, his vote on same-sex marriage. And, and not just same-sex marriage. And yes, uh, and, and I said that yesterday. Um, just exactly what you're saying, that it would, he may split some of the Dem votes. He actually ha was the most liberal voting uh, senator in the Republican caucus, like two years out of the last five. Mm -hmm. So um, he has a liberal voting record, 
and I think that may be appealing to some Democrats. You know, I, I thought, as far as this campaign ads, I, I thought the one where they try to tie you to Obamacare was was totally misleading and unfair, and just I thought it reflected very poorly on his campaign. Maybe maybe it was an act of desperation. One one legitimate question I do think was the double dipping one, where you 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 can get a pension as county clerk and also a salary as a legislator. Now I understand that you're only going to accept one salary. Is that is that the case? That that is the case, and I have pulled back my papers. I don't know if you if you knew that I've pulled back my retirement. You're reti- right. You know, and, well, because originally you wanted to basically, if you had won the race without the extension of the extended time of a recount, uh, you would have you would have uh, put your retirement papers in, and then that would have guaranteed the governor wouldn't be able to put a Democrat in the clerk's office, right? Is that, that, that that's exactly right. And for me personally, what that meant was I was willing to risk my job in advance of actually winning in November to protect the Republican Party and to be able to have a a Republican and a Dem, of course, appear in the November election this year. But what I had said to the party is if I won the primary, I would be willing to do that. And putting my retirement papers in, I was just – I was trying to protect our party um, just in case. But it didn't happen. Uh, I wasn't declared victorious until after the – the deadline date of September 20th. So, but uh, now, are you going? You're going to basically accept one salary. Will you technically receive the other one and then donate it, or how's that going to work? Yeah, I, we, I mean, we haven't looked at the logistics of it yet, but yes, that that's what I believe we're going to be doing. Is um, and I don't know which one yet. Um, we're going to one of them will be donated back, donated to uh, charities of my choice um, after I uh, after I become the senator. One other quick question. I know we got to let you go. Fracking, are you pro or con? Well, I think that the decision needs to be heavily uh, weighed upon with the scientist. I'm not a scientist. I'd like to wait until further information comes in. I, you know, if, uh, first and foremost, though, it, it, it does have to be safe. Um, but I, I, for me, the jury's still out, and I'm still waiting to, to get the, uh, I believe, the DEC reports are not back yet. Well, congratulations again, and hope to talk to you again uh, in the near future. Well, thanks very much. Thanks for having me on. You bet. Our pleasure. Saratoga County Clerk and uh, Republican Primary State Senate, Victor Kathy Marchand.